Hey those and gents, again welcome back to my channel and today's nail art tutorial is going to be on 3D flowers and before I get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as you can follow me on Instagram at curlies underscore artistic underscore nails. Stay tuned for more. For my beginners, a keynote in creating 3D flowers, your acrylic bead cannot be a runny bead, it cannot be too wet. You want to make sure that that bead can stand on its own and it's not moving all over the nail. And when that bead starts to lose its shine, when it starts to turn a little mat, then you want to take your brush and start to shape your petal. Now when shaping your petal, notice that I am pressing down on that bead. So you want that first layer of petals to be really flat into the nail and not off the nail. So don't be afraid to use your brush and press into that bead while creating your petal shape. For the second layer, you're just going to place that bead to the center of two of your first layer petals and again, that bead cannot be a runny bead because the acrylic is going to flow into the first layer of petals and then you're not going to get a detailed look of the petals and getting an idea of a first layer second layer giving you that floral look so you want to make sure at all times that your bead is not runny at all and that's really you know one of the one of the main things in creating any 3d design you know you have to have the acrylic in such a way that you're able to mold that acrylic and you kind of mold it when it's too wet because the product when it's finished it does not look and it doesn't give you that matte effect it gives you like a shiny look and that's what you do not want so when creating the second layer i use two petals in these videos depending on your preference you can do three petals on your second layer but because i'm trying to make this video as simple as possible for my beginners I'm going to do just two layers and for my third layer of flowers I'm going to just place that bead to the center you could use either a dotting tool or you can use your brush the top of your brush and you're just going to create a circle within that bead
another thing I like to do is I like to cook to the center of the bead and it's also a way in letting you know if your bead is ready to be sculpted if it's if you're getting product onto the brush then that means that your bead is still wet and you've got to wait for it to dry just a little longer once again it starts losing its shine then you want to start to gently press into the bead and when you're pressing you're doing a pushing motion so you're going to push that product to the left then you're going to push it to the right and you're shaping your petal remembering to press into the bead because you want that acrylic layer to be flat I also left the video in real time so if you guys want to practice this design while I am doing it, it will be a great way for you to see where you're going wrong and understand how to use your tools and the products that you have just by using the same technique. The most of just not always about the product that you use but about the technique behind it. So. If you're practicing, go get your brush and your acrylic powder and you can work alongside while I am doing it. Also, shout out to Grand Bob's underscore nails because she tagged me yesterday in one of her pictures of her first 3D flower, which was so cute. And I told her that I will try to do another video explaining carefully how to get the trini flower so um shout out to grand barbs and this nails for you know making this video happen for you guys
notice that the bead does not move once I place it onto the nail so that's how you want your bead to be when you're creating 3d flowers just to go over the technique again you're taking your brush and you're pressing into your bead making sure that that first layer of petals are flat onto the nail wondering where to place your second and third bead try thinking of a triangle how your triangle have three points that's what you want to think about when you're creating the three layer or the three petal for your first layers think of a triangle so for every bead you're going to place it at the end of that first petal so it's a triangle is three points and so you're going to try that same have that idea in your mind when you're doing three petals as your first layer you're going to put the first bead down and then from that bead you're going to place the second bead to the either to the left corner or to the right corner of that same first petal i hope i explain that clearly for you guys For this flower, I only did two layers of petals and after that first petal in the second layer, I placed this bead to the center and what I'm going to do is take the tip of my brush into that bead, I'm going to, let's say you're drawing, you're going to outline a circle and then you're going to have some product, a little bead into the center of that product so you're taking your brush and you're just going to gently twirl that brush into a circle into that bead leaving that little tiny bud into the center of that bead then you can take your you can use the tip of your brush and create a circle like i was doing in the other two flowers but for those in case the brush that you're using is not sturdy, you can take your dotting tool and you can place it to the center of the bead. Once I was finished, I just decided to do three extra petals to the ending of the flowers to the corner.
and that's it girls and gents i hope you guys enjoyed as well as practice while i was doing this design let me know in the comments if this was a much better explanation for you guys to work with I added some Swarovski and some girl beads just to give it a little glam and give you all an idea on the things that you can do to enhance that nail don't forget the more you practice the better you become do have a blessed day a blessed night wherever you are and i shall see you guys in the next video bye god bless